Hey guys, so today I'm back with another haul video. This time, unlike last time, if you saw the last haul video I did, a little bit less of a fail. Um, on a side note, thank you so much to everybody who commented on the ASOS fail haul um, video saying that you thought it was hilarious and great that I had put it online and not just not done it because some of the stuff was so bad. If you haven't seen it already, um, go and check it out. It's kind of like me ordering the worst things on the internet and trying them on um, for your entertainment. Yeah, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Um, and today I'm back with another haul video with bits and bobs from Zara and other stories and Topshop. So three of my most favorite places to shop. Um, and hopefully because I actually tried on most of these apart from the Topshop stuff, it won't be such a fail. It could be a fail at the end with Topshop, you never know. So stay tuned. First of all, it's mainly dresses actually. First of all, stuff from Zara. I'm gonna start with my favorite item because I'm so in love with this dress. I cannot wait to wear it. Um, it needs to be a little warmer I think before I start wearing it. Although I definitely could wear it with tights. Um, it is this. How gorgeous is this dress? It's a beautiful, it's almost like um, cheese, is it cheesecloth? Which just has so much kind of detail, like embroidered detail on it, so gorgeous. It's quite loose in the cut. I got a size small, it was 39 pounds. It's got these beautiful kind of big sleeves with these, I just, <laughs> I'm really bad at explaining things, but I absolutely love this dress and it just makes you feel like a bit of a princess. I would definitely style this with a leather jacket and little boots. I think it'd be really cool for spring. Again, like I said, you could definitely wear it um, with or without tights. I just think it's go absolutely gorgeous. I love the detail on it. Um, and I'll show you a shot of me wearing it because you can't see barely anything um, in that shot because it's quite a detailed dress. And then the other one that I got from Zara is a similar kind of thing. It's definitely like a very, very summery dress. This is more of a beach dress, so I would definitely wear this like over a bikini in the summer, or I would layer it up, it has a lining, so it's not too see-through, which is great. I would layer it up again with like a leather jacket and um, little black boots. If I was going to Coachella this year, I would so rock this at Coachella. It has this crochet section at the top, which is really pretty, sleeveless, and then it has like tassels coming down from the crochet bit. Um, and it comes just above the knee. It's just really, really pretty. Um, so they're the two pieces that I picked up from Zara. I thought that was pretty restrained for me only buying two things in Zara. Normally I like buy the whole shop. Um, and then I also got three things from And Other Stories. The first one you guys might have seen on my Instagram because I've worn it a couple of times. This is uh, my leopard print skirt from And Other Stories. It is pleated, it's leopardy, it's got buttons down the front. I absolutely love it. There's so much leopard print around this season. I'm absolutely loving it. I'm so into maxi skirts at the moment. I think whilst it's still a bit cold, but I'm still feeling like I wanna be not wearing jeans. I just love maxi skirts. I actually wore this with a black t-shirt and my black leather jacket, and I really, really loved it, styled like that. I did also see somebody, I went to um, a party the other day and saw someone style it with like high, um, knee high kind of um, heeled boots and like a little black kind of jumper top and that looks really nice as well um, so it's definitely one of those things that's quite an out there like statement skirt you want to be like I don't know I personally would pair it with quite pared down like either black or white um, but I really like this I can't remember how much it was so I've taken the labels out of it but I, I was excited when I found that um, I'm a little bit obsessed with leopard print at the moment and then I also bought this spotty dress which is totally undone let me just button it up so it's like a black shirt dress with slightly imperfect polka dots on it they're not like perfectly round they look like they've been done with paint like hand done and it comes down and it's almost got like a school uniform kind of vibe to it it's got like pleats on the skirts but they're quite flat I really, really like this. I actually picked this up in a size 10, and when I picked it up, um, it was a little bit tight still over the boob and belly area, um, but the 12 was too big. So this is gonna be like my goal dress for um, losing the baby weight. Um, I, I, I actually bought it about two weeks ago, and I haven't tried it on since. So if it fits now, and I wanna show you guys, I will show you. If not, I'm not gonna include a shot of me wearing it because um, I don't, Feel comfortable so hopefully it'll fit and I'll show you what it looks like on it's really really nice I know they also do it in a shirt um, I just thought it was really pretty again wear it with tights or without tights depending on the weather 
Um, and then I also picked up another dress. This was actually in the sale in And Other Stories. Again, it's a button up kind of shirt style dress, but it's a little bit more kind of girly. Like it has a like little flippy kind of skater style skirt. As you can tell, it's covered in stars and constellations, which is clearly why I liked it. It's got long sleeves. Um, I picked up the size 12. The 10 did actually fit, but it was too tight across the boobs. And I wanted to wear it like now um, when I'm still breastfeeding. So um, yeah. <laughs> when I stop breastfeeding, I'm sure I probably could have got the 10, but it'll be comfortable. Um, and yeah, so I really like that. So it was a really pretty, like girly dress um, and it was half price. And then the next stuff is from an online order. So these are all from Topshop Online. The first thing I ordered um, were two jackets. They're the same, but different colors. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these because if I'm honest, the quality does not look that great, but I'll see what they look like on. I haven't tried them on yet. I ordered the black one and the white one. Um, they're kind of like formal cropped jackets with like the little peplum, um, if you guys can see there. And the reason why I've got these, I've got loads of like weddings and like more formal events coming up. And I thought these might be quite nice over little dresses or even like to smarten up um, kind of jeans and a, sh and a t-shirt instead of like a blazer. I thought they'd be quite cute, but I don't know. We'll see what they look like. They're 45 pounds each. Um, I'm probably not gonna keep both of them if I do keep them, but I wanted the option to try the black one. And then I also got the, I would say white, it's actually cream, um, the cream one. So yeah, that's what the cream one looks like. I thought it was quite a good style for like formal events. Like if you're going to a wedding when you want a cover up, I thought they were quite nice, but we will see what they look like on. They could be terrible. And then last but not least is another perfect example of Topshop almost getting it so right, but actually making their stuff out of really see-through material. And I think it's gonna be too see-through. It might even be too see-through to try on because I can just straight up see through the dress. But this is what the dress looks like. It's a midi dress. It's got this amazing um, red, oh, dropped it. Red and white kind of striped pattern. And then it's got this kind of like asymmetrical vibe to it so the front is like it's got like this panel that's off and then the actual length of the skirt is asymmetrical as well so it has like a longer piece coming down it's got these pretty little kind of billowy sleeves really nice but really see-through like can you see me through this I don't know but I can see I can straight up see through this dress um I could wear a slip under it I guess but it just annoys me that they don't just think to make it out of slightly better material, thicker material. Um, but yeah, so that's my Topshop dress. And that is it for this haul video. I feel like it was, I kind of rushed it. Is it too short? I don't know. I don't know how, I don't even know how long I've been filming for, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you liked some of this stuff. Let's hope it's not as much of a fail as the last one. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.